touch. So you stay, you, you, are, you are on the side of your navel, and you, you use all the fingers. You have all the fingers on the belly, but you only use one finger. So you can choose which one you want. So with this finger, you focus on this, on this finger, and you spiral counterclockwise under the, just spiral, and you don't press. You just go under the skin and feel under the skin. So now in her case, I can feel here something. <laughs> so you feel if there's something uneven under the skin, uh, unevenness, I can feel here. So now when you feel something uneven, so it's very on the sur just a little bit pressure. So then you want to dissolve this, what Shaking you feel, it, yeah. shaking. So you shake, shake, shake. In, you can do any movement. In a circle. In that, a that you dissolve circle. it, that you dissolve it. And then you go on, you go to the next spot here. You just walk through. Don't so you walk yeah. and you feel here also. Now here yeah. I can also feel a the circle. tension. Here I can feel tension, a pull, pull. So then you work to this and then you go to the next. And then you go to the next. Here's also tension. So you, you walk with your finger in a counterclockwise spiraling and the big circle is clockwise around, in circles around the navel. And you feel what you feel underneath. So it's not, you don't press very hard. And you also, you have to practice it because you have different belly. Some people have a big fat, mm -hmm. some have a very little fat. And then you also have to find your way, you know, to, to, to feel that, you know, you have to f learn to feel this. This the is the best technique make people so relaxed. Mm -hmm. So here and I can feel also tension, like a pull, that's something pulling inside. <coughs> so, so this is the work, so it's a very gentle work. And the, and the straight line. And then you also can do the straight, yeah, the straight line. So you can work here, also like skin detox here. Oh, so like, huh? like this line. one. One, two, yeah, three, this, four, this five. This I normally use both fingers. Yeah, it's not matter. It's a spiral. Yeah. So now normally this, when I teach this one, I use uh, two fingers like that, one over the other, and I let them do it. I mean the client, and then, then you feel here, also the tension, like here. You feel, and then you stay there and loosen it up, so you only use two fingers. So this is the most important technique in the middle line. So the middle line is narrow. You have three lines. Middle line is the lymphatic. Left line is the aorta, and the, right, and the left line aorta, and the right line is vena cava. Okay? Here also. So it's very, very close like this. Here I can middle. also feel a tension. It's one, line, one whole line. This one, you, you only can release with the elbow. This one here. So you, you see, if you have all the technique, now you're going to use a tool. Okay, I need to use my finger, I need to use my elbow, I need to use my palm, I need to use. So now, and later on you learn more too. Because this one, when I, when I press here, you feel? Painful. So when you, when this is very painful, and when you just go like this, it's very uncomfortable. And actually what you do, you contract more because it's so uncomfortable. But how you get away with the pain? So that when you use the elbow technique and you use it in the right way, this is really important. Because what I notice now, people, they don't use it because they say, or the clients, they say, I don't want the elbow technique. Don't, don't do the elbow technique on me. Why? Because the, the therapist doesn't know how to do it in a proper way. And the way they do sometimes, it's so uncomfortable that I do understand the client who says, no, thank you, I don't want this kind of technique, just use your hands. But when you do the elbow technique right, it's very, a great tool, it's a very, very great tool to release. Yes. So for some things you need the elbow, definitely to loosen it up, otherwise it will never go away. And then you go all the That's way down. The, the elbow, the elbow technique. technique. Yeah, very quick. So the, for the elbow, it's also the way you, the way you are with your, with your shoulder. So like when you are like this, body. so you have to lean 
inhale, exhale. So you, you lean you into the. She tried to use the body. I and lean into the elbow, that to the point that is painful. You, you lean down, but the force are strong. Is on the and elbow. Go deep and get less of pain. And then, and then I start to pump. So so you have loose feet, and you are relaxed. Your arm is very relaxed, and you just do the pumping. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And now people always ask, how long do I have to pump? And it depends on the problem. Sometimes 200, 300, 500 times. But you probably don't do it in one session, so you have to go again in order to release the tension underneath. Is it okay? And spiral, elbow spiral. So now, like this. Mm -hmm. And then, and then you can, when, you, when you go out, you can feel and, and you open your palm and you twist your forearm and you let the energy come out through the fingers. So she, and then you come she up. teach you some of the Chi Ne Chang 2 technique. Yeah. <laughs> so so the, you see, when you get everything, you they use the two. Because like in what, any session. what some people do, they are like this. They stand like this. And then they pump like that. It's painful. Uh, this is horrible. You don't feel good when you receive it. And also when people do like if this. If you relax, if you relax, like this. people relax. If it's so How tension, it so stress. Yes. And, uh, you feel that good? Yeah. Yes. Well, I don't feel it good when somebody does <laughs> like this. <laughs> because uh, when, when you always push the forearm into the body, it's very uncomfortable like this. You don't notice so you, that? It's mm -hmm. only 10. Only 10 degrees, you see? 10 so you only like this. Yeah. You only want to... Not touching the... You want mm. to only um, press on the elbow into the point, and you don't want to go like this. You do it, you try it out and feel how you feel yourself. Okay. It's very uncomfortable to receive this kind of constant, like, hammering with the forearm on your body. So you have to do it in the right way, and also the right pressure. That's also mm. so important. Very important. Yeah. It's, it's too much adjusting. is not good, too little is also not good. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. Okay, good. Now, uh, the um, small intestine. To loosen up the small intestine, so for the small intestine, you, you look for the tangles. So you can use like your fingers more together so that you feel more. And then you go. The tangle, if you look over there, the tangle. Like here's a tangle. It's really a tangle. Here. Okay. Here and I can now. feel a tangle. So now you start to loosen up that tangle with your focus and with the technique. So you see the small picture here the tangle and the nerve tangle and all these. Um, this is the technique. If you get this, you are the good. You can untie the tangle and tie the knot and put them into the back to the normal uh, system. You are the Chi Ne Chang practitioner. That's it. If you cannot feel the, the knot, yes, the tangle, because this really so, bothers their brain, really so, disturbs yeah. their brain. Okay? I, a pain, oh, pain. You know, stomach pain. Yes, you can be a very normal people. And when you get stomach pain, what happens? It knocks you down immediately. So sometimes we say, hey, it's pretend something. Just now he's still talking to me very nice. And suddenly, oh my God, it's just it down. That's why. But it constant pain and bothers so much on the brain. So now wherever you feel the tangle, like tight under your fingers, that, then you just work on this area until it loosens up. And then, the next one is like, um, like you have like a half moon technique also. This is very nice, so you, you can start anywhere on your small wow, intestine. It, 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 yeah. And then you, you just feel, Twist. and you go like that. And you feel, and you, you go into the formation of the small intestine, so you just visualize it, and, and you go like this. And you move and move. Is that the scooping technique? No, this is like uh, called half moon technique. Half moon, and you go towards the sacrum here. 
that is where the chyme from the small intestine reaches the large intestine on the lower right side, on, on the ileocecal valve. So you move towards there, like that. And then you start again. Half moon. Hmm? I mean, if somebody has a normal digestion, you can do clockwise towards the sacrum. If someone has a diarrhea, I would maybe do it the other way around, the other direction. But you, you can find out when, when you ask your student the, at the beginning, before you start a session, you have these uh, questions, and then you find out about your student, and then, and then you can apply it in, in the way that they have given you the information. So we just go like in a half moon. There's also the potential. Yeah. Towards the seco, like that. And then you do the tapping. Tap, tap, tap. Good. Hmm? 